uh, we've actually had a response by text from Julian Batchelor, the head of this group, um, Stop Co-Governance. He says, three cheers to the Free Speech Union for stopping the racism. The fact that the platform is the only media outlet covering this shows just how widespread are the tentacles of the Public Interest Journalism Fund. Shameful. This is North Korean-style politics right here in New Zealand. That is from Julian Batchelor, who is the uh, head of this group, um, Stop Co-Governance, trying to hire a venue uh, administered by Sport Northland, which is a public organisation funded by, amongst other sources, four councils. Now, one of those councils is the Kaipara Council, and one of the few public uh, figures who's prepared to come out and discuss the issue of Sport Northland, I thank him for that, is Kuiper's Mayor Craig Jepson, who joins us by phone now. Craig, before we get into this issue, has Kuiper been hit with the weather, and what's the status in your neck of the woods? Oh, it's been a bit of a worry. Uh, Sean, we've had a lot of rain, a lot of rain overnight, but I've, um, I haven't heard anything from my people out there telling me we've got any states of emergency going on, but we're still trying to get, um, you know, the road over the Brindewans is still closed, so yeah. it's left a bit of a legacy. There's a lot of mess around, but yeah. I, I don't think we've got as much rain last night as we had the previous. Good. Good to hear. All right, Craig, but you do have a bit of a storm over um, Stop co governance. Firstly, on first blush, where do you stand on this? Oh, look, I think it's abhorrent that uh, any group in New Zealand, whether it's council or any other group, has a public facility which they allow every other group to use and then all of a sudden, because they don't agree with what's going to be um, discussed at the venue, they, uh, they want to shut it down. Hallelujah, Craig. Hallelujah. You answered... You're a local body man. You answered my question clearly and succinctly. <laughs> What can well, you, you know, do? I'm getting, a, I'm, getting a, I'm getting a name for walking into the... the yeah. Of it, I but, um, look, that's against the Bill of Rights. It's a clear breach. Um, if you look at the Molyneux situation, um, it's, 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 not a, it's not what we need in our society. When one of the best ways to solve problems that we've got is we need to actually discuss and talk them through. Yeah. Isn't it crazy, of course, um, our new Prime Minister says we've got to have more discussion, more understanding about co-governance. Here's a group which has a view but is holding a meeting to have that discussion and they get kiboshed. What can you do as Mayor of Kaipara about this? Can you intervene? Can you make your views known to Sport Northland? Uh, look, I haven't communicated directly with Sport Northland. I did hear there was um, a little bit of a move to maybe back up from their part. Um, Nice. Our council, our council, Sport Northern does a great job, let me get that clear, Yep. with running sports in the north, and we contribute 334000 to operate the Dargaville Pool, and they do a good job of that, and we've contributed another 10000 for regional aquatic strategies. Yep. So I never, I never envisaged that they would step outside their mandate to do that work, to um, politically um, shut down free speech. Yeah, and that's what you see it as being... Are you going to get a hard time from your councillors and activists in Kuiper over this, Craig? Uh, look, I don't think so. I think um, from what I've been hearing, uh, out in, you know, look, I got a clear mandate when I stood against, I stood against co-governance in my, all my documentation while I stood for me, and I got a very big majority here. I think it's one of the biggest issues New Zealand has got at the moment. I think... There's an unheard number of people out there that have had a guts all and, um, and they're ready to talk about the issue and, and make changes. And one of the challenges I think we need to make to people who keep running this grievance um, argument is, have you really asked all Maori? I mean, I've, I've got lots of Maori friends. My former um, business partner is a Maori who's probably the most honest and hardest working man I know, they, they keep telling me, look, this is condescending giving us special rights. We've got all the opportunities in the world to get ahead now. We don't need this, this advantage. You know, it's, it's, we all need to be living in a, in, a, in a system of equality where everyone gets the same rights. End of story. 
Yeah, well, that's good. We know at least, and you're the only mayor uh, of the four that we approach that, that that's talking about this at the moment, Craig. Craig, well, I got, uh, got you there. Uh, you won't. You might be aware of some of the media coverage of the floods in Auckland over the weekend and the obsession uh, with some journalists and news organisations. The obsession with criticising Wayne Brown. Oh, look, it's ridiculous. He's not a. Um he can't look out his window and make decisions. He's just like I am. I have people from, um, you know, civil emergency from from Wakatahi, New Zealand, from all, all sorts of bodies who advise me on what's happening. And I'm sure Wayne is getting that advice. And, uh, you know, he's quite right to say that he can only act on the advice he gets. And he acted as soon as he got the, the advice that he should declare an emergency. I think it's just another example of the media trying to put a wedge in between Wayne Brown and the people that voted for him. And the funny thing about Wayne Brown is he didn't do a hell of a lot of media during his campaign and he still won. And maybe <laughs> that was the right strategy to go round the paid-off mainstream media. Well, that's right. You know, and he stood, he stood to fix things. And if you look at Auckland, Auckland's a classic example to me of where um, planners have, have intensified. They've put more roading, more concrete, more buildings. But they've got antiquated infrastructure that can't handle the volumes of water and when it rains it's got to go somewhere and when there's no effort for it to go it just lifts and then takes time to drop. Yeah, I get you. Um, Craig, uh, you may have heard this morning the Free Speech Union uh, have written lawyers' letters to Sport Northland uh, threatening legal action if they don't rescind or, or back down on this decision. If that were to happen, it will be your ratepayers who are funding, in effect, um... Sport Northland to defend itself in court. What's your message to Sport Northland if they're listening right now? I think the message is clear. I think you're you're out of order. I think you have done something that's against the, brick, the Bill of Rights, and uh, you need to back up pretty quick. Craig, I thank you very much indeed for your for your time. That is Craig Jepson, the Mayor of Kaipara who has weighed into this story, which is totally exclusive to um, to the platform, not because we've paid for it or anything, just because everyone else is too busy um, writing nasty columns about Wayne Brown. I think they're all a bit peeved that he doesn't talk to them very often and doesn't give them interviews. Um, and I think maybe the events of the last few days uh, show us why. But really, some of the vitriol for people like, uh, Mark Dulder from Newsroom, I think, has had a go. Some kid who's working at some other talkback channel said he'd opened up his house, unlike Wayne Brown has. As I said, we had Cam Wallace from MediaWorks, very ill-advised, showing his inexperience in news and current affairs coverage by taking a position, on this a rather personal position with his tweet. And I'm sure right now all the lefty loveys are losing it. Uh, are losing it over Wayne Brown. And you know what he should do? Oh, there was another great one in Stuff this morning. They had a headline which has been shared, of course, by Radio New Zealand because they're part of the same um, publicly funded BS machine uh, that even Wayne Brown staff say we're doing a terrible job. So I read the story. Oh, and apparently, apparently a staff member they won't name said this as a, an aside to a reporter before a media conference. In other words, I could have made that up if I wanted to. Come on, don't run it. If you can't confirm it, you can't name the person. You're just being a gutter snipe, aren't you? A gutter snipe. And I'm not saying that Auckland Council and Wayne Brown are not above criticism, but there's no way you can know what did or didn't go wrong in a disaster like this 12 hours, even 24 hours, while you're still in the bloody middle of it. Get on with your job of covering what people need to know and how people can keep themselves safe and sharing the emotions, the triumphs and tragedies of it. But, oh, no, let's make it political. It's like Twitter. The stupidity of Twitter has taken over, has taken over our news media.